Good morning. Welcome to the National Farm Machinery Show here in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, my name is Ron Roglis. I'm uh, Director of Marketing Sales for uh, HCC, a uh, Mendota, Illinois based company. And I'd like to talk to you about two uh, important things today. Uh, here we're showcasing our Smart Till, a soil management tool. And this is our eighth year here at the Farm Show uh, talking about uh, Smart Till. And I'd like to talk to you about two key things. Uh, this year we introduced a, uh, a new uh, trunnion bearing and you can see here uh, the trunnion bearing and uh, it's called a Till Extreme and some key points that I'd like to point out it's the largest trunnion bearing uh, used in the ag application in North America. Uh, the trunnion bearing uh, is also ensures uh, positive uh, bearing alignment and uh, it has what's called a 35% increased bearing journal diameter. And uh, probably the most important issue is it's a maintenance-free bearing, uh, which means that uh, there's no need for daily uh, relube. So this is uh, the standard bearing on all uh, smart tills beginning in, uh, in 2014. Probably the most significant, um, it has what's called a deep channel raceway which allows a higher thrust load and, uh, and that's important to when you're in the field and uh, you're doing your primary tillage. So that's another significant issue that uh, the Till Extreme bearing will bring to you. Another significant uh, point that I'd like to bring up today is uh, about, uh, about a year ago, uh, we, we began working with uh, Dr. Daniel Davidson uh, he's an agronomist from uh, Nebraska, and uh, we commissioned him to do a study on the smart till and various other types of tillage tools and in a no-till application and to look at the value added about where the smart till fits into the tillage practices today. And uh, we just completed those results, and I'd like just to share a couple of points with you. Uh, first of all, uh, if you're in the no-till application, uh, you can take a look at where we fit into the, the picture as far as residue coverage uh, in regards to a no-till, a dist application, smart till, and similar other types of tillage tools. Uh, we showed a residue coverage in excess of 70%, which uh, is, is, in, is a very good result in comparison to the standards. Uh, another factor that uh, is significant to a, to a farmer it would be into uh, the aspect of, of water infiltration. And if you look at there, you'll see at the amount of uh, inches per hour of water infiltration, uh, the smart till showed in excess of uh, five inches per hour in comparison to a no-till or say a disc or uh, a similar type of tillage tool. So pretty significant results in regards to water infiltration in comparison to other types of applications. So, uh, in, in relationship to some additional information that we were able to gain in talking with uh, Dr. Dan uh, Davidson in his study, uh, I'd like to point out that uh, soil health was a, was a, uh, a definite uh, factor in what we were able to show and, and what an aeration tillage tool actually accomplishes. Uh, it opens the soil up, it improves the water infiltration, which we talked about a little bit earlier, uh, better drainage, Faster warming, that's a significant issue uh, if you're looking at uh, getting into the field a little bit earlier in the springtime. If you can get that soil warmed up, that's a definite factor where you might get into the, uh, into the planting maybe two or three days earlier. Uh, and then the other thing that I would like to talk about is the results in regards to yield. Uh, we, we took a look at, and this was done all in a soybean application, uh, so we took a look at the yield results in a no-till application uh, in relationship to a disc, which I talked about earlier, uh, the smart till, another type of uh, tine tillage tool, and the, the end results were that we showed a significant result of about a seven bushel per acre increase in production in the fields that uh, were smart tilled versus the, teals that, the fields that were not smart tilled. So in all, uh, what we've been able to accomplish is in the past uh, eight years, uh, we've had some situations where farmers could said, 
you know, what is the, what is the significant value of a smart till? And, uh, and this study uh, was able to, uh, to validate that there are some definite advantages of smart till, and particularly in a, uh, in a result of soybean production where we were able to show uh, seven bushels per acre increased production.